Double bubble disco queen Marie went to the guillotine. I wrote a musical about her, so you should just follow me. I'll never go away. I'll post five times a day till we get it on a stage. She was innocent, and that's the tea. Hello, hello. I'm, I'm Sarah. I'm Emma. And I'm Joe to you. What your character shoe choice says about you part two. From a former musical theater kid. This girl, cast MVP. Bakes cookies for the cast every other week. Is always on time for mic check and call times. Can probably tap dance. And she's always cast in minor roles. She's big time slept on. This person has likely only been in one show. They didn't really get into theater until it was a little bit too late. Um, wore jeans to dance call. Is usually late to rehearsal, not on purpose. Um, drinks Red Bull during show week and doesn't tell anyone that they're in a show. You probably break a set piece or a prop during the run of the show. You didn't really know what character shoes were when the choreographer asked you to bring them in. Um, you are a soprano too, for sure. And your favorite play is Glass Menagerie by Tennessee Williams. You're tall, probably a brunette, probably have a pretty good vocal range, um, which means you were cast as a man, which is why you were wearing these shoes. Shake hands with me in character. <laughs> Shake hands with me in character. 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 In character? Yeah. <laughs> Shake hands with me in character. I just want. Shake hands with me in character. Shake hands with me in character. Why are we shaking with the left hand? Shake hands with me in character. <laughs> Shake hands with me in character. Oh, that bumps in my hair. <laughs> Shake hands with me in character. I am a Mormon, and a Mormon just believes. Just thinking about tomorrow, rose away the cobwebs and the sorrow. The hills are alive with the sound of music. Think of me, think of me fondly when we've said goodbye. Book of Mormon, Phantom, Cabaret, Aladdin, Annie, Grease, Heathers, Rent, Mean Girls, Pippin, The Wiz, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. Gonna sing through my musical theater resume. Things I dream, things I feel, there's more to me that I
Here's part six. Gentleman's Guide, Sister Act, Into the Woods, Something Rotten, Singing in the Rain, Great Comet, Spamalot, Lightning Thief, Title of Show, Neverland, Sound of Music, Big Fish, Adams. This is the Musical Theater Dream Roll Challenge. So here are all my dream rolls in this bag, and I'm going to be picking one a day and singing it. Oh, okay. <clears throat> Let me get my note. <clears throat> I need six eggs. Thank you. This is rolls that I auditioned for versus the rolls that I got in my car. No one sees them inside Jesus, you're making me sound like an air Are you there, God? It's me, Fiona. It's me, Fiona. Now I know he'll appear, cause there are rules and there are strictures. I believe the story books I read by candlelight, my white night, my night and sea. Embarrassing theater moment check.
then you might as well call me a player too. Wait for me. Hi guys, I know you've never done a show here before, but this is what we call Tech Week, so there is no talking backstage. She's definitely getting sick. Home is sounding a little bit pitchy. You didn't hear this from me, but you are the unofficial understudy for Belle, so get ready. I can talk backstage, I'm a senior. I'm a senior, so I can talk. Freshman. Jeremy, your mic is probably still hot. It's, it's like I'm the only professional around here. Hi guys, yeah, those are my candelabras for Lumiere. Um, are they yours? Yeah, yeah, so don't touch them. I'm so stressed out. I'm definitely gonna need to make an appearance at Denny's tonight. Uh, my mic is dead, will someone please get me another mic pack? I'm Lumiere for crying out loud. Here's a musical mashup you probably weren't expecting. Wait for me, I'm coming, wait, I'm coming with you, but I'm only human, and I bleed when I fall down, I'm only human, and I crash and I break down, so say something, I'm giving up on you. I'm a savage. Ratchet, bougie, savage. Uh -huh. Wow. Here's who I would cast in a Hamilton movie. Please make this a reality. For this list, I will be casting some celebrities, so if you're offended by that, please don't watch this video. This was merely for fun. Please don't make fun of my choices. For Hamilton, I thought Donald Glover would be a really good fit. For Aaron Burr, I picked Wayne Brady. For the Skyler Sisters of Abby, really cool to have Cynthia Revo as Eliza, Jennifer Hudson's Angelica, and Amber Riley's Peggy and Mariah. For George Washington, I picked Jamie Foxx. For Mulligan and Madison, I picked Chadwick Boseman. For Lawrence and Philip, I picked Jordan Fisher. For Lafayette and Jefferson, I could see two different options. I could either see Billy Porter or Eddie Murphy playing this role really well. And for King George III, I thought it'd be really cool to have Taron Killam, Weird Al Yankovic, or James Corden play the role. From your sister who is always by your side. What happened? Uh, don't worry, don't worry. Look, I'm here to help you. Listen, 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 listen. Fuck up, fuck up, fuck up, fuck up. Get out! You amaze me every time. Do me a favor. Get out! Yes, yeah. Okay, here's my proof that Ratatouille and Dear Evan Hansen have the exact same plot. Both feature a young man with bad social skills, who constantly doubt their abilities and have an absent parent figure. But after a misunderstanding that puts him in the spotlight, he teams up with a rat in order to fabricate a lie. The insecure character then becomes really popular, and even finds love with a girl he likes. But eventually the lie puts a strain on the people around him, and he's forced to tell the truth, losing everything he loved in the process. But don't worry, there's a happy ending, and the characters learn to accept their differences and embrace who they are as people. Am I the only person that notices? Because I think I might be onto something. 
There's a lot of people out there that think Hamilton's overrated. Like, there's a lot of people who don't understand why it's so successful and why it's so popular right now. But I think people who say it's overrated don't truly understand how truly impactful the show was. The show's a celebration of diversity with nearly the entire cast being made up of people of color. It used hip-hop in a way that wasn't trendy or pandering, because a lot of the songs in the show are inspired by, in parallel, actual rap artists. It was a passion project written by one man, who by the way was a person of color. In fact, much of the creative team was people of color. And that's rare on Broadway, even today. It used an older setting to talk about contemporary issues in America today, like racism, feminism, immigration, corrupt governments. It brought diversity to the Tony Awards, with a lot of the winners and nominees being people of color. It brought significant attention to a founding father, and also saved him from being taken off the $10 bill. It's even being used in speeches by politicians. It made musicals mainstream! Hamilton is the most important musical of our time. Wish you were here right now, all of the things I do Shall I compare thee to a summer's day? No, a summer's day is not a bitch But when will I see you again? Oh, never, never Never? Well, maybe someday When? Tomorrow? Oh, no So this is my cousin Dante, Dante is not a theater kid um, and I'm gonna play you a song, and I want you to sing what you think the song is, okay? Yeah, okay. All right, here we go. Whenever you're ready. Yeah, that's no, Okay. Um, when I was a young boy, my father took me into the city to see a marching band. He One said, day son, when you grow up, day would you be destiny. the savior of the broken, the beaten, and the dead? This man who seemed to know my crime will surely come a second he said, time. Will you I did defeat them, them until the today. demons, and all the non-believers, the I plans live that when they we have made. So it's my understanding that Cameron had his first rehearsal yesterday, and there's a bit of a problem with the harmonies in Someone Gets Hurt. Um, does anyone have any suggestions or anything we could do to solve this problem? We, we could change the key, maybe? No, we can't change the key because then everyone in the audience will know and it will throw Renee off again completely. Right, what if we just lower Cameron's harmony and keep Renee on the same line? What if he doesn't sing at all? Um, if you don't like me, that's fine. But, you know, watch your mouth. Musical theater audition tips part four. When you go into the audition, always make sure to tell the director that you're sick, even if you're not sick, so that way he'll think that you're actually better than your audition. Being fashionably late is key. Be sure to stop and start over every time the pianist messes up and make sure you tell the pianist that they messed up. Be sure to sing songs that are out of your range so that way you look extra brave. And once you're finished with your audition, always make sure to say you're welcome because you just grace them with your presence. Hi, I'm Karen. My name is Karen too. Do you spell it with a K? Sometimes. <laughs> so you think I'm huge? Two. 
Jesus. <laughs> 